Hello class, this is Teacher Judea. Today, we'll focus on features of a website. Our objective is to understand basic terminologies and concepts that will help you navigate a website using essential features like headings and links among others. Now, let's try to identify the different browsers and icons and the name of the browser. Okay, number one is the Internet Explorer. How about number two? Yes, Opera. Three, Chrome. Four, the Mozilla Firefox. Five, Microsoft Edge. And number six, Safari. Now, let's identify the navigation button and its function. First one is the back a page or back a page allows you to go back to a select website in the history of the current window. Forward the page allows you to go forward to select website in the history of the current window. Refresh, refresh the active window. Home page, navigate the active window to your home page. And then bookmark our favorites links to web pages to make it easy to get back to your favorite places. What is a website? It refers to a collection of web pages usually grouped and connected together in a number of different ways. It may also be written as website or simply a site. We have here YouTube, Yahoo, Google, Facebook, Instagram, Wikipedia, Tresemarty City website, and DepEd Common website. So these are some of the examples of a website. In an era where almost every information can be searched through the internet, it is essential for one to know how basic aspect of a web actually works. As cited in the previous lesson, searching for something in the web can be a teacher's job, especially if you're not used to how the system works. So that is why it is essential to understand the different parts and features of a website. The aspect which presents different resources about almost everything. So every website is composed of different parts. And each part plays certain rules as to how the entire repertoire of web pages actually works. Here are the different parts of a website that you need to understand in order to fully navigate one. We have the home page, sliders, header. Navigation menu, the sidebar, and the footer. Let's have the first one. Home page. So home page is the opening page which does the job of welcoming the website visitors. It makes them feel they are in the right place and immediately explain what the website does or is made for. Next is the sliders. It refers to the changing content area that presents slides of visual information including large images, text, announcement, updates, and promotions. Next one is the header. It is the content area at the top of a website which bears the logo as well as the navigation menu. 
This part likewise includes the taglines, addresses, contact numbers, or buttons used to sign up and log in. Next one is the navigation menu. It is the part of the header which bears the links that take or direct visitors to all the parts of a website. This part is something called tab, links, or pages. Some websites use a secondary navigation menu in case where a lot of navigation is needed and the most important link should be highlighted. Next one is the sidebar. It is the area of the website which displays information that is not part of the page and content, like a call to action or links to recent blog posts or social media accounts. And finally, we have here the footer. It refers to the content area at the bottom of every page that can see a website. This usually bears the contact details, map, and links to social media accounts, among others. So, once you are familiar with the different parts of a website, it is now important to learn about the features that make navigating a website easy. So, a website must all must at all times have these features of a website. First one is be easy to navigate. Two, be easy to read. Three, present relevant and up-to-date content. Four, use relevant designs such as themes, colors, and visuals. Include a well-presented call to action or the CDA. Manifest credibility. Be clear, simple, and can be viewed comfortably. And last one is be mobile friendly. So all these features work together so that visitors of any website may be engaged in exploring every part and every content presented and available. Now, let's try. Let's try to identify and evaluate the following sen sen uh, sentence or statement as valid or not. So, we will answer fact if it is true and then love if it is not. Okay, so you may now answer 1 to 10. Okay, number one. A website is just another term for a web page. Fact or bluff? The answer is bluff. Number two. Website needs to have reliable and up-to-date content. Is it a fact or bluff? It is a fact. Number 3. The footer is always placed at the topmost part of a website. The answer is blog because it is located at the bottom part of a website. 4. It is essential for a website to look clean and simple. The answer is fact. One of the most essential part of a website is the call to action. Fact or bluff? The answer is fact. 6. The use of proper colors and photos matters in a website. The answer is fact. 7. A website must first and foremost be easy to navigate. The answer is fact. 8. Loud and intense colors should be used when designing a website. The correct answer is blog. 9. Font size and font style do not matter when designing a website. 
answer is love. And then, a website must present a clear direction and impression to visitors. The answer is fact. Okay, so let's end this with a quotation. A good web design is about the character of the content and not the character of the designer by Jeffrey Selman. Thank you so much everyone again. This is Teacher Today.